Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the Windows 11 24 h 2 problems that you can encounter after you update to this latest version of Windows 11. I saw in the comments that some of you requested this video, so I figured, okay, let's do a video like that because Microsoft is also acknowledging some issues and in their official Microsoft website, of course, they also mention some of the known issues that we can encounter and I'm also going to show you some bonus ones. In this video, I'm going to rank the problems based on my personal view of what I think is the worst problem to maybe the least worst problem. So if you enjoy videos like these in which we talk about Windows 11 24 h 2 please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. This video is sponsored by 4DDAG Data Recovery. 4DDAG Data Recovery is a data recovery software that can help you recover your lost, deleted, formatted, or corrupt drive files completely and easily. A possible cause of data loss can also be Windows updates in case of failure to install updates or corrupted update files. To recover lost data, simply select the location of the lost data, then select the type of file you want to recover and just press the scan selected file types button. Files that can be recovered will start loading and you can sort them using filters. To recover a specific file, just select it, click on recover, select the location where you want the file to be saved and then click on save now. Start using 4DDAG data recovery today in the description below. Let's continue with the video. One of the first e issues that I've noticed almost instantly when updating to Windows 11 24 h 2 is the fact that whenever you're going to storage and storage settings, you basically let Windows scan a bit. Here in storage, if you're going to clean up recommendations and then on temporary files, you go to see advanced options, you may notice on Windows 11 24 h 2 that Windows update cleanup files have around 9 or 10 gigabytes. And if you click on remove files, this one be removed. Well, this is nothing to worry about. Windows 11 is not actually using this space. This is just an incorrect reported space available for cleanup as reported by Microsoft so you shouldn't worry about this at all this is just a small bug that just shows a fake number that isn't real actually because that space is is not used by Windows updated cleanup files you can try to remove them if they won't remove or just wait as I've said this is not an issue wait for the first patch and you will no longer notice this Windows updated cleanup files being used as I've said as a fake report because of a bug another issue that we have that was fixed in the latest release preview channel build and will soon be fixed on the main release is something to do with the SFC scan now command. Whenever you're using the SFC space slash scan now command, you're going to notice that the system will basically detect some corrupt files, will try to fix them, and after you run the command again, it will detect other files and so on. Basically, the SFC scan now command will help you detect files that are missing, corrupted, and so on. But in this case, the SFC scan now command in the first Windows 11 24H2 build has some issues. As I've said, I'm currently on the latest release preview channel build and Microsoft acknowledged that this command was fixed and it should now work properly. If you're on the main release, of course, you should wait for the update maybe coming in two weeks from now where this command will be fixed if you are frequently using this command. There are also some reports of certain text fields that basically bug out the mouse pointer and um, this is something that I've encountered before on Saturday preview builds. I haven't encountered this on Windows 11 24 h 2 but it could be a thing for some users. So of course, refreshing the Explorer.exe and also restarting the computer should temporarily fix that issue if you have it on Windows 11 24 h 2 And as I've said, in the official Microsoft website, they're also acknowledging some known issues that they also offer some explanations for. And of course, they will fix them in future builds. For example, safe exam browser application might fail to open. This is a small issue. I don't think anyone is bugged by that. Also, some devices with easy anti-cheat start responding and receive a blue screen. This is something that could be a problem. I'm not sure which games are using the easy anti-cheat, but on Windows 11 24 for H2. If you're using a game that requires the easy anti-cheat, you may encounter a blue screen of death. Plus, you're also going to have the official Microsoft website in the article below if you want to check out all the known issues in depth explained by Microsoft. Also, fingerprint sensors might experience problems after a device is locked. Wallpaper customization applications might not work as expected. So, for example, if you're using Wallpaper Engine, you could have some issues on Windows 11 24 H2. Also, compatibility issues with Intel Smart Sound Technology drivers on Windows 11 24 h2 this can also cause a blue screen of death so this could be an issue maybe for people that need that driver and also asphalt 8 might periodically start responding this is also a known issue for me as i've said there are not such big issues in windows 11 24 h2 maybe if you're using games with the easy anti-cheat or need the intel smart sound driver and you encounter a bsod that could be an issue but if you ask me maybe if you know that you're gonna need those things in windows 11 24 h2 just wait a bit wait a month maybe and 
then do the update and you should be good to go. In my case, I have the update way before Windows 11 24H2 was officially released on the main release and I didn't encounter any issues so far. So basically, this is the video. Don't forget to check out the article below for more information. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. As you manage from TechBase, until next time, have a nice day.